Veterans Day had its origins after the First World War when it was to mark the armistice on the 11th of November 1918. It came to practice on the following year, on 11th of November 1919. It essentially, apart from marking the armistice, which I guess would be a celebration, was also meant to mark the deaths uh, across, in our case, the British Empire, about a million deaths, uh, but of course across the belligerent nations. It changed, of course, I mean, through the, the 20s and 30s, it was marked regularly. It changed, of course, when the Second World War came along. Um, it was difficult to call it Armistice Day, of course, after the Second World War. So in 1946, the name was changed in Britain and across the empire to Remembrance Day. And Remembrance Day then became a day to remember the deaths of all of those soldiers, sailors, airmen, uh, women and men who'd served in the armed forces uh, across both of those world wars. So the King said, let's change it, um, and the various parliaments enacted that. So what we have after World War II is a situation where we have a, a day to remember all of those people who died in the two world wars. And since then, of course, as we engage in other wars and have further deaths, the day is used to remember all of those people who died in the course of fighting for their various nations.